The Earth Day Network is asking, how can you play your part in saving energy and live more greenly? Let's chat to Dominic Doyle now from Earth Life Africa from the Johannesburg office. Dominic, good morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. Well, one of the main problems we're facing in the country, I want to start there, is energy problems currently. We know ESCOM's problems in South Africa. I mean, and that's got a lot of environmental challenges, uh, the use of coal and stuff like that. From your perspective, uh, what should we be doing ordinarily to make sure that we contribute to a better Earth? Well, today is Earth Day and the major problem that South Africa is facing environmentally right now is the way we produce energy. 95% of our energy comes from coal with massive re uh, repercussions for the environment. Water pollution, open strip coal mining, air pollution. So today we can take cognizance of where our electricity comes from and also play our part in lobbying the government to transition towards renewable and clean sources of energy. Okay, there's a question of consumption currently that's facing us in South Africa and, and being advised by ESCOM to use electricity sparingly. Now saving electricity might help to contribute towards a better environment, am I wrong? Saving electricity will help to a certain extent, but at the moment we simply don't have enough electricity so we can encourage the government to bring on renewable sources faster onto the grid. Nuclear energy? No to nuclear. Nuclear has huge impact for the environment. At the moment we are storing a lot of highly radioactive waste underground in Valputs and this radioactive waste will remain radioactive for a hundred thousand years. So we at Earth Life say nuclear is definitely not the way to go. How long will it take for things like wind energy and other non-renewable uh, sources to really be part of the mainstream? Well, they're coming online now and they're coming online faster and cheaper than the Madupis and the other coal-fired power stations. So we are seeing that renewable energy sources are the future. Yeah, well, they're, they're still a very, very small number. We saw in the Northern Cape there was a windmill, wind-powered energy and the solar-powered energy that, that's coming on stream. There, there are other problems of South Africa. You mentioned water. I mean, when you talk about water pollution, there's also water scarcity in, in South From an environmental perspective, what can be done there? Well, we need to learn how to protect our water sources better. At the moment, 95 or even 100% of South Africa's water resources are already allocated. And in the future, with climate change, which is already happening now, the biggest impact for South Africa will be water, water scarcity or flooding, according to the changes that we can see in rainfall patterns. So the big water users of South Africa industry definitely has to start reconsidering the way that water is used. So are we currently seeing changes in uh, climate change impact in South Africa in terms of rainfall patterns? At the, mem at the moment we're seeing weather variability, which is um, changes in weather patterns. This could be an indication of long-term climate change and most likely is. Yeah. Most times when we speak about climate change, people tell us they speak like it's something out there. It's not closer to me as an individual, you know. I, I hear about this climate change. We hear all kinds of terminologies like global warming and all these global summits that are happening left, right and center on the Kyoto protocols and all these things. But as an ordinary citizen on the ground South African, from an ethical perspective, what do you say I need on a daily basis to be, to be aware of? What I can do to contribute? Well... The major thing in South Africa is the way our electricity is produced because that is the number one contributor towards climate change. And I think that everybody, all of us who are of age, have noticed how the weather and the climate has changed over the years. And this, was, this is going to take a definite impact in our lives very soon. It's going to make food prices skyrocket. We're going to see water prices skyrocket. Um, people's Homes are going to be in danger from infrastructure damage. The city's infrastructure is in danger. And this is going to cost the South African taxpayers a lot of money. So we can definitely take climate change as a serious issue and make serious uh, inroads into mitigating climate change. So you, you say, as a citizen, I need to make noise about getting the right kinds of sources, renewable sources of energy going forward for the government. That's really what I should be doing more and more and taking part in those kinds of efforts. Definitely. Okay, thank you very much. That's Dominic Doyle from Life Africa.